Matthew, what a hard act to follow. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Omar. That was a wonderful speech. And uh, as I look in front of this wonderful audience, I see tolerance in front of me. I see diversity. I see all the things that uh, the Ministry of Tolerance represents itself. And first of all, I'd like to begin by uh, bringing the best wishes and good greetings from His Excellency Sheikh Nayan. Uh, he wishes he could be with you here today to enjoy your company, to see this Movement Day become something and grow into a movement uh, right across the country in the future. Um, but unfortunately, his schedule didn't allow it. And I might just say something about Sheikh Nayan. He, I, I've been with him now for 11 years, working in the background to some extent, and I don't know anybody that works harder than Sheikh Nayan. Seven days a week, open majlis every day of the week, attends seven to nine events or activities on a daily basis. So the fact that he couldn't be here today just cut him a little bit of slack. You know, he's got competing claims on his time, but he's, he's very, very keen to see this day begin and take off. The Ministry of Tolerance is unique. And by the way, I'm not going to make a speech, okay? I could only be a pale comparison to Dr. Omar on the one hand and Sheikh Nayan on the other. But I'd like to say a few things about the Ministry of Tolerance and what it stands for. The Ministry of Tolerance is unique. It is the only ministry in the world like it. It's unique in two respects. First of all, it is a ministry of tolerance, which is promoting tolerance, and I'll say a little bit about that in a moment. But secondly, it's unique in that it's not a bureaucracy. We only have a very small team, and this team is focused on promoting initiatives, activities, events that change hearts and minds. So if you come to our headquarters in Abu Dhabi or you visit our Dubai office, you'll be surprised by what goes on in that office. It more, looks more like a startup out of Silicon Valley than it looks like a, a bureaucratic ministry. And so we are forever trying new initiatives and activities to promote tolerance. And that brings me to the second point. Tolerance is not a natural state. It actually takes a lot of hard work. Most of the people in this room take it for granted because by nature you have open minds, white hearts, clear vision, you're good people. But too often, it's easier to revert, to look inward rather than outward, to, in the, in the face of difference in diversity, think of fear and suspicion. And so the mandate of the Ministry of Tolerance is to say, well, look at the UAE. This is a country that is full of diversity, full of difference, and has created one of the safest, most prosperous places on earth because it embraces that diversity and promotes it and says to people, look past fear and suspicion, get to know one another. And that's really what we've settled on at the Ministry of Tolerance as a way to define what tolerance is. It's about getting to know one another, to take advantage of the diversity and the difference amongst each other to be comfortable and confident in our own skin, if you like, while recognizing that others are there to help us. And so that's all I want to say to you today. And we look forward to Movement Day growing, being taken across the country, and let's have a Movement Day in Abu Dhabi next year, or one in Sharjah. And uh, I wish you all the best.